Welcome to the Edelried Knowledge Base. In 2015, an accident occurred during a mountain guide training of the Swiss Mountain Guide Association. Two people were simultaneously lowered on an 8.7 mm single rope from an anchor point. The rope ran over a sharp edge and got cut. The two climbers fell, but fortunately survived. This whole incident kicked off the discussion whether or not it is safer to use thicker ropes in the future. The line of thought seems obvious here. The thicker my rope, the more difficult it will be to cut and the safer it is. Well, turns out this is not necessarily true. Unfortunately, it is not that simple. In the last five years of developing and testing our cut resistance machine, we set out to explore what parameters actually influence cut resistance. Turns out the diameter of a rope is only one of many parameters. Now, if we look at the accident again, what other factors were involved? Obviously, two persons instead of one were repelled at the same time, so the severed rope was loaded with double the weight as usual. So the question is, what decreases the risk of a severed rope more in this situation? A thicker rope or less weight? In order to get an answer to this question, we will test the following scenario with a thin and a thick rope. We will try to reconstruct the scene with an 8.9 mm dynamic rope against a 10 mm dynamic rope, loaded each time with 160 kg, which should be the equivalent of two climbers. After that, we will do the same test with the thin rope at only 80 kg of pretension, imitating the weight of only one climber. So here, both ropes get cut at a weight of 160 kg. As can be seen, quite obviously, the ropes get cut super quickly with only a small difference in cutting lengths. Now, let's compare this to the test where we want to find out about the other important factor we can alter, the weight. Here, we cut the thin rope with only 80 kilograms, imitating the weight of only one climber at a time. Now, let's look at the results. What we see is that between the 8.9 mm rope and the 10 mm rope, there's not much of a difference at 160 kilograms. However, if we only load the 8.9 mm rope with 80 kilograms, we can see a huge gain in cut resistance meaning a huge gain in actual safety. So what conclusions can we draw from these test results? Basically, to put it simple, the diameter of a rope has only a marginal influence on the cut resistance of our ropes. The higher the weight applied, the smaller it even gets. In fact, there are even ropes that have the same cut resistance at 8.9 mm as a 10 mm rope you will not be able to judge the cut resistance of a given rope just by the current supplied technical data. What matters more than the diameter is the weight applied to the rope. Weight really matters here. So for our introduced situation, the conclusion is simple. If you would have to lower other climbers, you can decrease the danger of your rope getting cut significantly by lowering one climber at a time. So for your next risk assessment regarding your rope system, if possible, try to reduce the applied weight first before upping up your rope diameter.